Hey YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're like me, you've struggled with puffiness under the eyes and you're not really sure why because for me, I sleep, I mean, I sleep a good amount, I think, and I still have puffiness under my eyes all the time and I just don't know why. And for me, it's more my, my right eye than my left eye that has this problem. And because of this, I have tried on a bunch of different depuffing serums and uh, like under eye creams, but what has really worked for me is this one. Um, this is, I talked about this in an old, old video, probably like one of my first videos that I did last year, but it is the Moisture Silk Eye Gel from Murad. I got this from Sephora, and this was a pricey little gem, but it really, really works, and I completely think it's worth the price, because this is, um, let's see, it's dermatologist developed, not dermatologist tested, and that's the difference. There is a huge difference. Derm dermatologist tested means the product is made by chemists and is sent over to dermatologists to say, okay, to, to get them to test it to see, okay, well, you know, does it really work? Is it doing what it's supposed to? Is it harming people? You know, whatever. But dermatologist developed means that the dermatologist actually developed it because they knew what the problem was and they wanted to solve it themselves and figured out a combination of, you know, whatever to make a product that actually works. So... To me, that is of higher value than dermatologist tested. So, more than that, however, I would never have spent $50 on this little thing that is 0.5 fluid ounces. Like, it's really small had I not thought it worked on me. And as soon as I put it on under my eye area, like, within 30 minutes of walking around the mall, my puffiness was gone. And I thought I was just dreaming. Maybe I just really wanted to like the product and I felt that, you know, it was actually working when it wasn't. But even my mom told me that, you know, your under eye area has just depuffed by itself. So this offers you instant gratification. It is not a um, product that is going to treat this over the time. And that to me is, I mean, I'm not happy about that, but at least it's, at least what, what it does what I needed to do. And that, you know, works for me. But the thing is, this is an interesting thing. If you look at it from the back side, you can see it's got like this little twisty thing in the middle. And that is actually where the product is. The product is also around it, but not as much as in there. And when you squeeze it out, these two things are mixing, the white and the clear. Now, when I squeeze it out, these two things have not really blended together. So I have to blend it together on my hand. And that's fine because you're warming it up, you know, whatever. And you just need the tiniest bits. I've had this for a year, and I am only one quarter of the way done. So I have a lot left. So it lasts for over a year and it's $50. I know it's pricey, but it is lasting for a long time. So what I do is I just pump out about half a pump, and that's enough for both my eyes, and I just dab, I like pump it out onto my hand, dab it around, mix it together because I told you the white and the clear are not necessarily blending for me. I don't know if it's just mine or if that's just what it does, I don't know. But I, I use that, I blend that, use my ring finger. Always use your ring finger for an eye area because your eye area is very sensitive and your ring finger is the one that will um, allow you to put the least pressure on where, wherever you're applying your makeup or whatever it is that you're applying. Even your pinky is going to apply more pressure than the ring finger does. So I use this finger, dab it on under my eye all the way up to where I would apply my eyeliner and on your brow bone. And this is really, really good with your brow bone because I have some puffiness around here. Not on my brow bone, obviously. I would think no, nobody really has puffiness there. but. It kind of depuffs my eye area. Every, every day when I wake up, I have like puffier eyes than normal, and I don't really know why, and I've always hated that, but this really helps me with that. This is also great as um, a concealer base because it really holds and grabs the product and keeps it there. And I filmed my earlier video on where have I been, and I did have this on, and uh, maybe you guys can look at that and let me know um, what you think, if it looks good. Well, actually, I also have it on right now, but I put on the Murad like earlier this morning so I haven't really taken off my makeup since then so I don't know if you guys can still tell a difference but I definitely can. It has um, very small light reflecting um, minerals or pearls but it's not that noticeable so it does help to brighten the eye area and this is sold as a product to deep your eye as well as to help with dark circles but to be honest I don't really see this helping with dark circles. I can't say that I have the biggest problem with dark circles because I don't but I do have a little bit right over here, and it has not helped with that. So I think it's more of a deep puffer than um, something to help with dark circles. But I know it's pricey, and I think it's completely worth it. I would buy this over and over again. I hope this helps. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 
I wanted to compare the Murad um, to the Bare Minerals Eye Rev Wrapper. I bought this thinking that it's a cheaper version of this. That is the only reason I bought this, not because I thought that this wasn't doing a good job, because it really is, but it's just pricey, so I wanted to find a replacement. So I bought this. It is $21 at Bare Essentials, and it's 100% natural. There are no chemicals in this, which means there's no caffeine. Caffeine is something that helps with under eye circles, but if you can not use as many chemicals, why would you, right? So I bought this in hopes that it would be great. Um, the first thing you notice when I, when I opened the tube and took some out again, did the same method, put it over here, you know, warmed it up with my ring finger and put it on. It has a creamier texture than this because this is like a mixture of like a cream and gel. It's actually quite a strange mixture, so when you actually take it out and pump it onto your hand, you'll notice that it's not like, it's not very homogenous, like it's not just one. It's not unified. Like you can feel the difference in whatever's in there. You can feel different um, chemicals almost. And this is completely unified. It's a lot smoother. It's a little bit darker. It looks more cream colored than white versus um, versus this, which looks uh, like white and uh, also clear in some parts because there is some clear substance here. But this has a lot more light reflecting particles. As soon as you put this on, this whole area is shinier and because of the light reflecting particles so I think this would help more with dark circles than with anything else. The woman in the store sold this to me saying that it was instant gratification because it is going to make your puffiness go away but it has never done that for me. Um, I've used this for about a month and a half and I have not once seen my puffiness decrease. The only thing that I can say that it does well is the fact that it's a great concealer base. I mean both of these are but if you need one just for that purpose of it being a concealer base or concealer primer this is the thing to go with because it's cheaper. I wanted to add Max Fast Response Eye Cream to this video as well because I've been trying this out for about three weeks and this was, this was kind of a difficult one to review because the first few days I felt like it was making a big difference but I've been using it, I mean, pretty, you know, pretty religiously every day but it really isn't making that big of a difference. Everyone that I have talked to says this is like their holy grail, it's amazing, you know, this and that, but I have um, put this onto my under eye, like puffiness right over here, and I, like, the the reason this is so famous is because they say that the under eye puffiness, like, decreases while you're watching, like, it disappears literally within five minutes or so, but that didn't happen for me. Not only did it not disappear in five minutes, but it didn't really disappear throughout the day either, so, I mean... Well, I guess disappear is a wrong word. I guess it sh I should say reduce, but I don't think it really did that for me. So I wasn't too pleased with this. Also, ah, look at my funky hair. Okay, they also said that it's great for areas like right here, which might get puffy when you wake up and such, but it didn't really work out for me either. So, I don't know, in the first few days it did, but now it's like week almost three, and it really isn't doing what it's supposed to. So, I'm not really sure about this. The one thing that I do like about this is that as compared to the other two um, uh, eye creams that I've just talked about, this one has the best texture by far because it has a completely matte texture which is great to put on any concealer or whatever else you might want to use under your eyes. But also, and because of it being matte, it doesn't look shiny over here, kind of oily or anything of that kind. And it also is great to, it's a great base because it's matte, it kind of, it catches the, the product without you really realizing what's happening because with the Bare Essentials one it comes out kind of shiny and so when you put on the product you're kind of taking away that shine and those are like the light or the little the illuminating particles that make your under eye like darkness go away so that would kind of be defeating the purpose of that um, under eye cream but this one and also I love the packaging of this and the application it's the easiest application of all the three I would say it gives you the best amount of product per squeeze so it's not something that you take out and you're like oh my god it's too much to put back in because that's the only problem that I have with the Murad one that I talked about because it tends to put out too much in a pump and even half a pump has been too much and you can't exactly put it back into the bottle so you kind of end up wasting more but I don't know let me know what you guys think I'm kind of really confused about this product I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or return it but let me know what you guys think bye